Hi everybody, welcome to the Screecher, a Don't Starve mod. I've been enjoying the heck out of playing Don't Starve regularly, and I decided that uh, the Screecher here, which is apparently a total conversion mod of Don't Starve, would be fun to check out in a little video, so let's begin. Hillet Creek, January 1986. What was that sound? You should go check it out. Oh my gosh. Find a flashlight. Spacebar to interact. I can't wait here anymore. I'm going to try to call the helicopter. I left my flashlight for you. See you soon. Sarah. Huh, Sarah. 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 Duffel bag? I assume duffel bag. I need these batteries. Okay. So in a box, we found a splash... A, a splash light? A flashlight. Fantastic. Right click to toggle flash... Oh, jeez. Light campfires to conserve battery. Alright. That's pretty basic. Oh, no. Okay, what is going on in this? This is creepy. Is there a tab? Oh my gosh. This is horrifying. I Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I assume there's nothing this way. We might as well follow this path. So there was what? Uh, I think I saw, like, one of nine notes or something like that. What is this? Helicopter thing. Is there a helipad? Oh my gosh. Sign. I can follow the signs to the helipad. Okay, oh. Hello? Lady? Hello? Oh! Backpack. I'm gonna steal your backpack, lady. January 9th, the helicopter just dropped us off. This place is amazing, and the... The tour guide seems really nice. It is so peaceful out here. No one around for miles. Huh. Two of nine notes. I'm not liking this, the fact that there's notes. It's reminded me of some slender... Some stuff like that. Oh, jeez. Uh, you can only go forward. There, well, and backward. There's no like side to side, so everything is directly in front of you. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, fire, garbage bag, junk, all of it. Pile of garbage. <gasps> Hill Creek map. Uh, from free helicopter transport. Simply amazing. The most isolated campground in the state. Tab to use the map. Ah, okay. This will be useful. There is something. Oh, my lord. Oh, no, it's fine. There is something. There's something going on in here. Jeez, okay. Off goes the flashlight. Go in the box. Something rummaged our camp last night. Things are getting weird. I haven't seen the Brazilian couple in days. It's so cold. Bill is trying to fix the generator. Oh, wow. Hang on a second, guys. Brief interruption aside. Uh, duffel bag, right? Haven't investigated this thing yet. <sighs> One battery. Okay, so we have 85% battery life. Uh, you. You're... Oh my god! Jeez! Okay, so Satan's in these woods, basically. Alright. <clears throat> this will be interesting. So I assume, periodically, we're gonna get dead guys appearing. Although he was still living, in a sense. Backpack? Hello? Whatever it was, it's ripped to shreds. Somebody's clothes. No, that's... Hello? A weird camera bug there. Junk, all of it. Okay, so we're not getting any any cool stuff. That's interesting. And I'm getting weird, weird mouse acceleration issues where the mouse is suddenly just spazzing the heck out, which is weird. Hence the fact that I said weird, weird ma mouse issues. Okay, what's over here? I don't like this. A cooler. We're we gonna find some batteries. Hello, batteries? The space interact thing. Don't look at it. 
Hello, slender? No? No slender. Okay. Let's tab. Where are we? Oh, we're way up here. And I assume by going this way, we're now facing... Oh, God, the map rotates with us. Oh, no. That's the worst. Okay, um... This is gonna pop out at me. Hello? Oh! Uh, January 14th, Bill went looking for the Brazilian couple. We still, uh, he still hasn't come back. I'm getting very, really scared. There's something out there in the woods. We need to get out of here. Must find the guide. Okay, water faucet. I get weird, weird FPS drops the moment after I interact with something. I don't know if that's a common bug that you guys might have experienced when playing this game. Um, which I, I'm sure I mentioned at the beginning. Um, but this is actually a total conversion mod for Don't Starve, and I think it's pre-installed, because I never... I've downloaded one single mod for this game, and and that is uh, this RPG uh, heads-up display mod, which adds a bunch of inventory slots and stuff, and I'm super excited to use it, mainly because I am just shamelessly uh, hoarding up every single item that I can ever acquire in Don't Starve, um, and it really causes some issues all right um cool what is going on is this just a circle I don't I don't know if I die the moment I turn my flashlight off or not I'm worried pretty worried I'm not looking around carefully enough which sucks we're only at 36 percent on the old battery life um Helipad is this way. I assume we're not going to go to the helipad right away, though. Yeah, the helipad is that way. Thanks. For oh, my God. What in the world happened here? Okay, uh, first of all, fire pit. You first. All right, switch that off. Duffel bag. Batteries. Fantastic. Oh, God. It hunts those who stare. Okay, so... What happened? Oh, it's gonna jump at me. It's gonna jump at me. There's something out there. Oh, Lord. Ah! Holy jeez! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, I thought that was a woman that was in need of help. Because, I don't know, I thought I saw long hair, and I was like, lady... Do you need assistance? And it scared me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay then. God. <clears throat> this is scarier than the entirety of Resident Evil Revelations. <laughs> okay, there was that one jump scare in like episode 10 that got me in that series. But overall, my god, this is pretty darn terrifying. I don't like this. Actually, I freaking love this. I gotta say, I've, I'm have I'm a big fan of, of thrills. And, uh, oh my lord! Jeez. Um, and I, I quite enjoy the, the rush of playing horror games. Um, it's, it's very fun. I love it. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Am I going the right way still? I think I am. I think, I, oh my lord. We're gonna talk to this guy. First off, your vest. Hello, vest. And... Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Um, Timothy. Stop it, Timothy. Oh, fantastic. Box, more batteries. Hello, batteries. I would appreciate that. Emergency frequency, 1640.4. 1640.4. Tour guide's bag. Oh, this is the tour guide. Oh, helicopter manifest. We got Russell Hayes, Dylan Cummings, uh, William Morin, Maven Passy, or Marcy Passy. I can't really tell. Uh, a bunch of names, basically. Um, okay, and corpse. Oh, no. Oh, there you are. Okay. I really like this. The way it's designed is to terrify you because of the fact that, you know... Uh, you, you can't strafe at all. That's, I really love it when the mechanic, oh, 
That's like some slender drawings. Oh, Lord. Okay, backpack. <clears throat> oh, God, something's rotting in there. Cool. Um, now we just need to find our way to the helipad. Where is the freaking helipad? Helipad? No. This is definitely not a helipad. Um, oh, it's just over here. Okay. Oh, wow. So it really does use the same engine. These are all the same tree icons as well as the rock icons from uh, Normal Don't Starve. Okay, now it should be over this way. Oh, here's the helipad. This can't be the entire game, right? Because Don't Starve is really long. Well, I guess it's not really long. It's just as long as you can... Frequency. I need to put in... Maybe I can... Oh, gee. Landing light. One of these are lit so the helicopter can land. Start the generator. Is the is this the generator? I would think so. Oh, D word. Start already. <laughs> oh lord. Um. Yep. Oh, my lord! <laughs> wow! I got nine out of nine notes. Are these all the people that uh, uh, took part? Um, I, I guess, while well, this is going on with creepy music in the background, wow, I enjoyed that. You know, it was a really, really short, you know, as you can tell, the video is only, like, gonna be 15 minutes, maybe, uh, when these are, by the time these are finished and I'm done talking, but I, I highly enjoyed that experience. I, I yelled, I got a uh, little startled, um, but I, I really loved it. It was one of those situations where, you know, it, it kind of was thrilling. Oh god, I might play again. That might happen. Oh no, I'm here in the settings menu. Anyway, uh, the Screecher is very, very good. I loved it. Um, you've kind of seen the entirety of it, I assume. I got all nine notes. Uh, so 100% in like 12, 13, well, like 14 minutes maybe? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. Uh, and with that said, thank you all for watching this episode of uh, First Look, where I took my first little look at the Screecher, a Don't Starve mod. I highly encourage you play it yourself, because it's one of those things that I feel you can get a different experience out of, depending on your interactions with horror games. Overall, I say it's a fantastic little mod. I don't know if there's any more to it, um, but you guys, if you've played it, can let me know in the comments below. So with that said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.